Actually, the area I work in is long-term care. I'm the medical director of um, a facility, Overlander Care Centre, with 180 long-term care beds. Um, my project is to do with polypharmacy as um, a, a large amount of the problems that patients ultimately end up in ER um, or um, is, is related to medication. When people are elderly, um, everything about medications changes, um, their breakdown of them, um, their, um, the dosages need to be different, and often they're on many medications. And studies have shown that uh, if a person is on uh, over seven medications, um, that diagnosis by itself increases the risk of death. So um, I started this project, it changed quite a bit as I went along. I started um, by try trying to develop a group um, or a means of determining um, a person's uh, prognosis. There is uh, a lot of data out there in long-term care. I mean, most people in long-term care, their average uh, time in long-term care till death is between a year and 18 months nowadays. And um, there are good um, indicators uh, to know when a person has a lifespan of about six months. So initially my goal was to be able to identify these people and then have them um, um, means with which to have the medications that are for prolonging life, such as um, cholesterol medications or um, um, even Alzheimer's medications, and have these medications stopped because many of these medications are there to help somebody for something a year or more out when their prognosis is less than that. Um, so the problem that I had initially was that I needed nursing staff to be able to identify these people and target the patient's physicians, but at the time there was a lot of change going on at Overlander. The entire staff changed and I really didn't have a team on my side because I think they all had a lot of other things going on. So I decided to, instead of that project, I actually changed and, and focused on a different medication um, the PPIs, which are uh, proton pump inhibitors, they're medications that everybody seems to be on these days and there seems to be this idea that they're completely benign. But in the long-term care patients, they're not and they cause a lot of um, care or a lot of problems in long-term care, the kinds of things we see in these kinds of patients. So I started off by identifying um, a group of uh, physicians who see a lot of patients in the facility and I sent them all a letter outlining the patients they had on these medications and I gave them the, uh, an algorithm that is um, put out by Canada Chooses Wisely and it's a very easy to follow algorithm for um, determining if your patient needs to be on a PPI because there really only are a few indicators to be on them long term. Generally it's supposed to be eight weeks and then it's supposed to be reconsidered. Um, so with this I actually was able to show over, um, well with this part here, there, uh, we followed, uh, we just did monthly um, measuring how many people in Overland were on PPIs we followed that monthly and there did seem to be a decrease, but when I reviewed the data with the pharmacist, um, I realized that there were new people coming into this all the time, new patients, and then there were other patients who were passing away, which is something that happens a lot. So the absolute data to show that the letter was making any difference was really hard to show. So what I, and I also found that a letter coming from me as the medical director might be perceived by physicians to be um, telling them how to practice. And so um, the pharmacists actually have a, a physician uh, review that they do at six weeks and then every six months, or quarterly actually, in the facility. And they send out a, a, a list of medications and guidelines. And so what we decided to do was send this algorithm with every med rec that goes out um, so that the doctor gets the med rec or, and they get uh, the algorithm so that they can have guidelines there to help them determine whether to continue the PPI or stop it. And so this part of the project we've really only just started. Um, so we've just, um, in the last month, we've sent out five of these letters. So. A new part is just starting.